how do you role play dwarves and elves in your game? A great question. Usually when I think about how I role play elves is I think about how their perception of time is so much different to ours. If you think about it, like when we're looking at other animals, right? A dog's lifespan is so short compared to ours. If they are with us, they are happy. They are experiencing every single day to its absolute fullest. They are just doing what they want to do. And when we look at the human life, we're taking so much time on things. We're stressing about stuff think about the future, all that kind of stuff. And so I think that elves would kind of see us in a weird way, kind of like how we view other animals, like how we view dogs. They would see humans like, wow, look at those humans. They're just going for it. They're just living their lives. They're chasing after their dreams so fast. They're not taking their time to really truly appreciate and understand because their whole concept of time is lost. When Elf is like, oh yeah, I'll, uh, I'll come over in a little bit. I'll see uh, like what's going on. And for a human, you're like, oh, okay, that means they're probably either going to be like a couple hours or something like that. And then they show up like a week later and you're like, where the hell are you? The party's done. They're like, oh really? It's that fast. It's that, that fast of a party. I'm like, yeah. So then they just have this idea of like, oh, I'm not taking very long because what they're doing, they just absorb themselves into something. They take a lot more time to consume. But then that also means when it comes to learning, an elf might be able to have a very deep, intricate understanding compared to what a human could have. But it takes them a lot longer to sit down with something to really fully absorb it. Humans hit the ground running. We just grab it, get that information, good to go. With the elves that are like, I'm gonna read this book, then I'm gonna think about it for a couple weeks. I'm gonna read it three more times, talk to my friends, write up a paper on it, maybe read it one more time, make sure I fully understand it, and then I'm gonna think about it for a summer, and then I think I'll have a pretty good idea of this stuff. Whereas a human would read the book, write the paper, run forward, try to have discussions with people. So the elf would take a lot longer to go through this, but they probably have more of a comp, like a deeper comprehension of things, whereas the human hit the ground running, away they go. But for us, a human who did all that, we're like, you're going through the proper steps. Dwarves, I feel, are a little different. Dwarves are so invested in skills, so invested in art, much like the original creator said, like they're, they're very much trying to set everything in stone. The way I view dwarves is they are very union based, right? Very heavily. We are tight knit. We are here for everyone. All these jobs matter. We have to make sure that we lift up dwarven kind, else the mountain itself will cave in on us. So they appreciate the nature. They appreciate the struggle because the struggle keeps them alive. The struggle keeps the fire burning in the forge. When you chase after the next big project, that's what's truly amazing. And when you hit the age where maybe you can't swing that hammer well enough, maybe you can't chisel the stone as well as you used to, it is time to impart your knowledge to the next generations. They would view their elderly, like the seniors, the grandparents, great grandparents, all that kind of stuff in Dwarven culture. They would view them with much reverence because these are the people that can pass on centuries of knowledge to the next group who is so ready to take on every single challenge. Whereas a dwarf will take so much longer. Once again, it's a different perception of time, but I think it's closer to what humans have. But a dwarf will take longer because they want to chase after the dream of perfection. Whereas a human would, we like the idea of perfection, but we like results. We like progress. So dwarven progress is much slower than humans, but it's definitely more aligned than what elves would be. Dwarves I see as a much more like, like I was saying, more union based, more intricate, very tight knit kind of social structure. And whenever you see a lot of these books when they talk about like dwarven royalty or dwarven nobles, the reason those characters seem so alien is because the dwarven structure is so tight knit that when you have these dwarves that are like, we're better than you, we're not really kind of a part of that group. It just seems weird. You're like, what are you doing? Why are you acting like that? You're not really a part of the group. And that's why I feel like dwarven nobility structure, whenever you see it in basic fantasy, doesn't always line up. 
It's one of my longer videos. But yeah, when I think about the dwarves and the elves and the role-playing aspect in fantasy, my first thought is their perception of time compared to humans, like how humans view like dogs and cats. And then when it comes to like the social structure, all that kind of stuff, elves would be taking so long to do everything. Their parties would be days, would be weeks, where our party would be an evening. They would be taking a very long time to decide on things, which impedes progress, which makes them wary of the outside world because it moves too fast. A tree grows for hundreds of years. An elven legislature will sit on a bill for so many years before deciding, you know what? I think we should allow this kind of clog in the workplace. I think that's okay. And then they'll kind of move it forward, right? At a tree's pace. So when you have all the time in the world, unfortunately, you're a little bit slow, but you have a deeper understanding of things. And with dwarves, I think they're very, very big in skill-based, uh, union-based, like society, and they revere the, the older people in their generation so that they can pass on this very deep understanding of their culture and skills so that they can get closer and closer to perfection, which is what ultimately the Dwarven culture craves. Hope that helps. Bye now.